You have started the computer-based training session on wiring diagrams, part two. This chapter explains about the wiring diagrams covered in this part of the course. It also describes a likely fault that a technician may be asked to rectify and how to locate the appropriate diagram to start the fault diagnosis process. Disc 1 of the Mercedes-Benz Wiring Diagram CBT program covered the basic principles of reading the diagrams and the meaning of some of the symbols. This disc looks more specifically at the transporter diagrams and will help technicians gain a more thorough understanding of the diagrams with which they probably work more regularly. To begin our look at the transporter wiring diagrams, we'll assume that a technician needs to find the cause of an electrical problem in the license plate light circuit of this sprinter. To find the appropriate diagram, the sprinter binder is first selected. On opening the binder, the function group 54 section can be immediately turned to as it contains the list of diagrams for the lighting system, etc. When checking out the lighting circuit, a good place to start is with the diagram for the combination switch and electrical center. So look through the content list to find the applicable diagram and then click on the wiring diagram number to call up the graphical diagram. Yes, that's correct. Well done. This chapter looks at the transporter lighting circuit and in particular at the license plate and headlight circuits. At the end of the chapter, you'll have the opportunity to receive an overview of the circuit's operation. This diagram contains only one part of the combination switch and a section of the electrical center. The electrical center is the combined fuse box and junction box mounted on the steering column to which the combination switch is directly connected. As you probably know, the combination switch comprises several separate switches combined in a single housing. On the diagram, the complete switch is designation S2, so each individual switch has a prefix of S2 followed by its own identifier. The identifier consists of a small s and a number. The wiper switch, for example, although not on this graphical diagram, has a designation of S2 S7. Use the legend to find the designation for the lighting part of the combination switch and then click on it. Yes, that's correct. Well done. Look at the diagram and using your knowledge about terminal designations gained in disk 1, click on the switch's input terminal that receives the permanent battery supply. Yes, that's correct. Well done. 30 denotes battery live. You should already know that the diagrams show the wiring variations for all model types. In this example, the circuit configuration is shown for a standard vehicle and those specifically designed for the post. Study the diagram and click on the circuit line that supplies the battery voltage to the switch contacts of a non-post vehicle. Yes, that's correct. Well done. The line feeds the majority of the switch's internal contacts. The only two contacts which are not fed by this line are these two, close to the top of the switch symbol. They're fed from the parking light switch and are used only for that function. If you remember, we've already explained that our technician is searching to find the cause of a fault on the license plate light circuit. So let's now look at the lighting switch to see how it operates and supplies the different circuits. Study the lighting switch on the diagram and work out 
to which position the switch must be set for only terminal designations 58L, 58R and K to become live. When you've made your decision, click on the applicable switch position number. Yes, that's correct. Well done. It's worth noting that the terminal designations 58L and 58R are common to all Mercedes-Benz wiring diagrams, and they supply the left and right-hand side and tail light circuits. The L and R stand for left and right. Terminal designation K, incidentally, is the connection that supplies and identifies the circuit for the license plate lamps. The majority of the vehicle's fuses are housed in the electrical centre. So, using the interactive diagram, carefully look at the switch and its connections and determine the two fuses which are live only when the switch is in position 2. When you're ready, click on the two fuse symbols. Yes, that's correct. Well done. From the diagram, it can be seen that fuses F12 and F13 are supplied from terminal 56 of the switch. The designation 56 signifies a connection to the headlight circuit, and just like 58L and 58R, mentioned earlier, is common to all Mercedes-Benz diagrams. Having established which fuses protect the side and tail, license plate and headlight circuits, you're now going to follow the headlight and license plate circuits towards the lamps. From the fuses, the circuits exit the electrical centre via multi-block connector 5. To simplify identification on the vehicle, you'll find the terminal numbers shown on the diagram moulded into the plastic on the electrical centre. From the connector, the circuits go down the diagram and end in a box with the first six characters of a diagram number. This indicates that the circuits continue on another wiring diagram, to which you will need to refer. By referring to the legend, it can be seen that the diagram is for the exterior lights. To determine the correct diagram for the exterior light circuits of the vehicle being worked upon, you must refer to the survey of diagrams found in the manual. Assuming that the vehicle is a 1999 Sprinter, then which exterior lights diagram is applicable? Click on the diagram number in the right-hand column of the list. Yes, that's correct. Well done. If you remember, you're following the headlights and license plate light circuits from the electrical centre to the lights. The electrical centre is at the top of this diagram, designation A12. Study the diagram and click on the electrical centre terminal that supplies the license plate lights. Yes, that's correct. Well done. From pin 10, the circuit leads to a connector sleeve J33 where the circuit divides. The route down the page leads to another diagram which is for the optional daytime running lights generally fitted to Scandinavian vehicles. The alternative route from the connector sleeve J33 continues to item X26. Item X26 has a symbol which you have probably not seen before, so to find out what it is, refer to the legend. Here it explains that it's a contact plate with two pins. In reality, it's a set of spring-loaded contacts near the rear doors that complete the circuit for the license plate lights. The contacts close when the doors are shut and avoid the use of a flexible cable that will be prone to wear and damage when frequently opening and closing the rear doors. You've probably noticed that the symbol for the X26 contacts and the wiring are shown within a broken line boundary box, signifying an optional circuit. Within the box, there's also the word KAWA, which is an abbreviation. To find out what it means, you need to refer to the Abbreviations for Wiring Diagrams page in section A4 of the manual. Click on the word KAWA to view that page. Now scroll down the list to find the meaning of KAWA, and then click on it to confirm. 
As you can see, Kawa is the abbreviation for panel van. Its presence within the boundary box indicates that the contact switch and license plate lights are fitted only to panel vans. This is because on chassis cab vehicles, the license plate is lit from the tail light assemblies and separate lamps are not required. Returning to the diagram, you can see that the license plate light circuit ends at components E75 and E76, which are the two lamps. So that completes the license plate circuit, which, if you remember, was the circuit that our technician needed to investigate. Now he's established how the circuit functions, it should be a reasonably straightforward task to complete some systematic testing to locate the cause of the fault. Having looked at the license plate light circuit, let's now briefly consider part of the headlight circuit. Study the diagram and legend and click on the symbol for the right hand low beam headlight. Yes, that's correct. Well done. The lowercase e identifies that the component is a sub-assembly of the main component, E26. E65 is the right-hand main beam headlight. Now you know which is the right-hand low beam headlight, we'd now like you to identify the electrical centre terminal that supplies it. When you're ready, click on the terminal. Yes, that's correct. Well done. Next to the pin number is the terminal designation 56B. 56B identifies the low beam headlight circuit and 56A denotes main beam. In time, these terminal designations, which are common to all Mercedes-Benz diagrams, will become second nature, thereby helping you to find your way quickly around the diagrams. You may have noticed that between the output pin 13 of the electrical centre and the low beam headlight, there's a symbol for optional wiring. Study the diagram and identify the size and colour of the cable that supplies the low beam headlight of a vehicle not fitted with daytime running lamps. Choose your answer and then click on OK to register your choice. Yes, that's correct. Well done. This section reviews some of the items covered so far by taking you systematically through the operation of the lighting circuit. The circuit will animate in stages, allowing you to follow the route. Don't forget that we're following the circuit for a non-post vehicle. The battery supply for the lighting part of the combination switch enters at terminal designation 30. In the off position, there is no output from the switch. Moving the switch to position 1 directs live to 58L and 58R that supply the side and tail light circuit. At the same time, live is directed to K, which is for the license plate circuit. Turning the switch to position 2 supplies live to 56 and the low beam headlight fuses F12 and F13. From the fuses, the circuits continue down the diagram to a box, identifying the next diagram. At the top of this diagram is shown part of the electrical centre. The licence plate light circuit leaves the electrical centre at terminal designation K, connector plug 5, pin 10, and continues to the connector sleeve J33, where the circuit divides. The route to the license plate lights is completed via the contact switch X26. Its contacts are closed when the rear doors are shut. From the switch, the live is directed to the lights and then to ground via the contact switch. The final part of the lighting circuit you looked at was for the right-hand low beam headlight. The lamp receives its voltage from terminal 56B of the electrical center and on vehicles without daytime running lamps, the circuit is made via a 1.5 mm yellow cable. The low beam headlight circuit is completed by the bulb E63 and the ground point W2.